Annyeong everyone, thank you for watching this video. This is Ju from Soju Cars. Yeah, the sunlight. I'm being sun-kissed here right now in Hyundai Manila Bay. Please do contact the person in the video if you want to purchase Hyundai vehicles. All right. Looking at the front side of the 1.5 liter GL, which is the base variant that costs 1,038,000, but now it is sold with the 40,000 discount, which makes it 998,000 pesos, which makes this the most affordable seven-seater MPV here in the Philippine market right now when we talk about the mainstream brands. The front fascia looks simple now. You don't have the different color variation here nor here, but just here. And this is just the OEM bumper, so I think you can just paint this if you want it to go with this color as well. But just look here, it reminds everybody that this is no longer just an internal combustion engine vehicle. It does remind us of EVs and hybrid vehicles. All the lights in this car are halogen. And we are not getting the LED bar for the DRL. But still, this chrome is quite girthy and thick. So as long as it's clean, it still makes the car look handsome. This is how the lights look like. The Hyundai Stargazer GL 1.5 liter is the base variant and comes with a flip remote key. So for those people who don't need smart keyless entry, this is okay. And what's the difference here on the side are the door handles, the side mirror, not the design, but its function, and the design of the alloys. And they are okay to me. They almost remind me of like an Innova vibe, but it is still in 16s. Drum brake, disc brake, torsion beam, MacPherson. What do you think of this door handle? Do you like it better in a chrome, or do you like it better in this body color? Please do let me know in the comment section below. The back of the Stargazer GL variant has the same design. Yes, has the H design. And thankfully, this bar is not darkened out and it is still in red. But it will not illuminate. So in other variants, this area will illuminate. But for this variant, this area will illuminate. And besides that, we do have a whole type of antenna here and down here in the lower garnish it is just plastic it is not painted yet so if you want to paint it you may paint it these are just reflectors and the others are just the same they look exactly the same fabric seats here we'll get to that later but others this is a same car after all This time, I'm going to do a POV style since people are quite interested with what you'll get in the base variant for this Stargazer 1.5 liter GL. The front fascia looks very similar, but what's inside are different halogen, full halogen with multi-reflector. The front bumper doesn't have the different black gloss and the this area is in chrome, but in very nice chrome. So make sure you keep it that way, clean and neat. Oh, my shadow there. That's how it looks like. And remember that this variant doesn't come with Hyundai SmartSense or ADA system. So if you're looking for an analog type of car, this might be perfect for you. 16 inch rims in Kumo tires, 205-55R16s. Oh, still you do get nice guards right there. The window here still comes with side repeater. So that might be the only LED. There's no blind spot warning. The door handles, 
Mm -hmm. And this area right here, it's all just black. The creases here, they are the same. Mm -hmm. The creases here, no black cladding. Even this area is following the design and the groove. Drum breaking with torsion beam. And this one is not the usual square. It is more of a slanted one. So look at this line right here. It just looks really nice. The rear, the H design, you still have them, but then they don't illuminate. Okay, only this area illuminates. And the lower bumper, the reflector. Now, this one is not painted, but I guess you can paint it if you want to. Get a spare wheel here. Mm-hmm. All right. So it offers the same capacity, same engine, same transmission. Um, most probably you'll have the same driving experience because even the top variant doesn't have a lot of active uh, driver assist system. So this still could fulfill your duties in your everyday life. Now, uh, let me show you the inside. Okay, this is the flip key, right? But still has remote buttons. So there it blinks right there. Okay, there you go. Let's get inside. Mm -hmm. uh, let me open the hood so we can cover the sunlight. Let's go inside. The door panel. This is all in plastic now. No leather. Even this area is all plastic. No chrome. Oh, and it's not power folding. Okay. The window looks like a G. It has plenty of uh, bottle holders. The speaker here. So there's no speaker also here for the Twitter. Same seat, but it's in fabric. So some people might favor more for the fabric since we are living in a tropical country. And uh, the airbags are gone. So you do have just dual airbags, but not the curtain and the side airbags. As you can see, this is a conventional manual seat, uh, but it still does have different color variation and design, so it doesn't look cheap. The pedals, mm -hmm. manually adjusted. Is this uh, telescopic in some way? Oh, it is telescopic. Oh, that's a fantastic news. And just look at our tiny stargazer. Yeah, it even tells you that the hood is open. So, you know, uh, that makes this car a bit different from other cars because usually people don't care if the hood is open or not. But this one, they tell you. So what happens now if I start using the key fob? Mm -hmm. So one Dean single LCD display, huge, right? <laughs> So this, I, I hope like Lazada people uh, will design something for this so you can just slap it on there and get over with the bad design um, stress. Single display and analog gauges. Okay, maybe we can start this. So that's how it looks like. There it shows the fuel, the engine temp, and many other good stuff. It doesn't come with TPMS, okay? But it does show the gears and stuff. Ah, oh, what a sign of relief. But it's on the right side. I don't know why, but it's there, okay? So yeah, the steering wheel and everything are in plastic. Everything is in plastic, but this area is still in brushed aluminum. Well, it's a uh, metallic paint. That's very good. Um, one touch turn signal. The horn. 
the horn sounds cute. Manual, manual, black, black, uh, audio control and computer control. So there are lots of things you can control, not really, but let's say. <laughs> cute with the mustache, but still has the metallic paint and that is not to be taken for granted. This, remember, this is a base variant, okay? And these are just the same, these are just the same. No charge pad, but you do have 12 volt there. The IVT, it's okay, usable. And this area, no um, ambient light here. Handbrake, everything is just uh, straightforward. It is an MPV after all, and you still have this one. Okay, so this one makes the car look more expensive. And this, oh, see, this versus this. Plenty of compartments here still. The room mirror is standard. Standards on visors. No mirror also. Okay, that's where the money was saved. Okay, this is the fabric again. There you go. Okay, now I think we're safe to go to the second row. The second row also has plastics everywhere with the same cup holders and everything and this second row also reclines the same as the premium well the top of the line the center tunnel is on the low side and flat mm -hmm. we like staying here in the second row of the stargazer the bottle holder no armrest but still there's light here it's very important let's look at this little variation with the color just in case you don't see it if it's in this color and you see it is not just plain cream color this area the the fins are in black so i think that makes the car look more expensive in my opinion everyone's safe here because they do have their holders uh, as i mentioned earlier this car is quite similar with the top of the line but it doesn't have too many um, ada system well this one has like zero ada system it doesn't even have a backup camera so that might be an issue because you cannot even install one it's just a single display as you can see right here so there are no charge options here at the back except there so better utilize that maybe bring a, a cable all the way here and we can safely rest our phone here so that will be nice all right so let me show you the third row okay. i just want to show you the third row how easy it is to enter so just step here but it doesn't end there you can like, choose to hold here as well but you can choose to hold here here so Hyundai has everything figured out so you can easily climb in like that a little challenge would be this one but that's not so bad right and I'm 510 I have so much room here it's very spacious uh, like uh, I'll be really comfortable like as long as these people will let me have one of the vents but you see it's a long vehicle this is a seven seater and if you want to see how it performs with seven people please do let me know i'll just share the link because i already have the video what am i saying all right and here there's a little button here too bad you cannot install a camera here so i did this because if you do that you get because if you do that you get more space for your back and this one yeah you see the the butt area also moves together so this is a good technology which makes everything flat if if i fold that and not like that tumble and for spare tire just uh you see you can see where it is people will not have to guess 
just unlock this one then it will go down and everyone will be safe place for your grocery bags three-point belt system oh even with uh, heated windows for defogging and that's the stargazer base variant there you go if you have questions please do ask me this is a 1.5 liter engine okay very simple no insulation but i think you can make one yourself so yeah by the way everybody if i have made an influence on your part in purchasing your car please do put them in the comment section below i'll be probably posting a community feed in the community tab please do let me know if you have purchased or i have somewhat influenced you in buying your vehicles please do let me know what model and when thank you very much <laughs> I'm 510 and I'm here in the base variant of the Stargazer. Now, why would I choose the mid variant and not get the base? Because number one, it doesn't come with height adjustment, doesn't come with a mirror, and doesn't come with an armrest. So I would rather shell out 100,000 more, get the leather, get the cruise control, and get the screen with the reverse camera. So, um, I think buying the base variant is not the most intelligent thing to do unless you're really tight on budget but I really hope that you guys buy the mid variant and up and when you buy the mid variant like I would say 100,000 and you're losing all those safety sense smart sense ADA system like so it goes from there and it goes from there so if you're planning to buy the base buy the mid if you're planning to buy the mid buy the I'm 5'10 and I'm entering the second row. Now, it doesn't have the tray. Now, if you want this to be a real family vehicle, you might want to get the tray. So, if you can, please to shell out 100,000 more and please do buy the mid variant and up. All right? And there's no charge port here as well. Thank you for watching this video. This was Ju from Soju Cars here in Hyundai Manila Bay. If you want to watch me driving the car and how it performs with seven people inside, please do watch the videos here or here or here, here, okay? And I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Bye.